Hi, I'm Teresa Rashid. Many states are now following the example of Indiana's model of comprehensive education reform in an effort to give children the tools they need to become successful adults. Some of those reforms are focusing on getting the best teachers in the classroom. One measure many states like Michigan and Ohio are considering is the idea of a right to teach bill, meaning a teacher does not have to join a teacher's union just to get a public teaching job. EAGTV talked with Tracy Bailey from the group Association of American Educators. He tells us why he thinks teachers should have a choice. To me, I still, it boggles my mind that someone can be forced to pay a private partisan organization, the teachers union, simply for the privilege of having a job in a public position, in a public school. There's just something fundamentally wrong. And by the way, in, in nationwide surveys and polls, 85% of Americans agree that that's fundamentally wrong. And yet, it's just now that we've seen in this last few years a real movement to open up the doors and give teachers that freedom and, and, and that choice uh, in these states. You know, obviously, the, the unions have a vested financial interest in maintaining a monopoly control where they can over what t teachers uh, join and where they spend their money and and uh, candidly, you know, the, they have a unified due structure. Most people don't understand this, is that it used to be, uh, back before the 1970s, that a teacher could just join their local association. But then the NEA and the AFT went to what's called unified dues. And that means that you have to pay the state NEA affiliate and the national NEA. Uh, so when you join one, you join all three. And that obviously increases the, uh, the amount of money, you know, from what might have been just a few hundred dollars up to this six, seven, eight hundred dollars that we're seeing is very common. The unions collect about two billion dollars a year. That's billion with a B. Of that, as I said, the majority of the country is right to work, but guess where the vast majority of the money comes from? About 1.3 to 1.4 billion dollars out of that two come from these minority of states simply because they're forced union. I think that the main issue is that teachers themselves have expressed their frustration and concern about being forced to pay union dues simply for the privilege of having a job in the public schools. You know, this is a relic of a bygone era. This is a practice that is on its way out. It's, it's been in existence for about 70 years, but it is fundamentally un-American and unfair. Around the country, you know, it's interesting, there are three million teachers around the country, and one million of those have already chosen not to be a part of the union. Now, obviously, in forced union states like Michigan and the others that we've talked about, uh, teachers don't have a choice, and so you'll see numbers of, you know, 90, 95, 98 percent of teachers in those states uh, are members of the union, again, because literally they will lose their job. The school board will be forced to fire them if they don't pay the union. That's why these laws need to change. And once teachers find out that they can get twice the coverage and the help for a third the price and, and no uh, baggage, none of this political or partisan baggage that teachers hate, uh, that's the reason that teachers are flocking to the AAE. The AAE, the Association of American Educators, is the nation's largest independent non-union professional teacher association. We feel that teachers are academic professionals, you know, just like lawyers and doctors and scientists and engineers, and as such, they should be represented by a professional association, more like the American Medical Association or the American Bar Association, not like United Auto Workers or the Steel Workers. I mean, we know what a traditional industrial labor union looks like, and unfortunately, the teachers' unions follow that model rather than a true professional model. One of the other big differences is that we do not make any political endorsements or political contributions to candidates uh, or, or, or campaigns, and we don't get involved in the controversial social issues that so often the teachers' unions get involved in. No one should be forced to pay for the propagation of ideas and issues that violate their personal or political beliefs. Here at EAG TV, we put together a series of videos called Kids Aren't Cars. In episode three, we sat down and talked with two teachers about why they don't want to join a union. You can watch that at kidsaren'tcars.com. And to learn more about the Association of American Educators, go to aaeteachers.org. Teresa Rashid, EAG TV.